The speed and size of the Latuya Bay landslide explains how the wave there could be so big when it was generated. This wave did not travel far. It struck land almost immediately. But mega tsunami are also able to cross whole oceans. As they radiate outwards, their height will drop considerably. Yet because they are a powerful single pulse of energy, they can travel thousands of kilometers and still cause destruction on distant shorelines. The energy that a mega tsunami unleashes when it hits a coastline is far greater than that of any storm wave imaginable. And the reason for this is, is the huge wavelength. Of, that's the distance from the beginning of the wave to the end of the wave. Storm waves, however high they are, have a very short wavelength, usually no more than 100 meters from the front of the wave to the back. This is because they are created merely by the effect of the wind on the surface of the sea. Mega tsunami, on the other hand, move the entire body of the ocean, right down to the seabed, several kilometers below. Because of the enormous volume of water that is shifted, mega tsunami have very long wavelengths, often hundreds of kilometers from the front of the wave to the back. This makes them particularly devastating when they approach a shoreline. As the ocean shallows, the front of the wave slows down, but the back of the wave is still traveling fast and pushes against the front, making it rise up. This creates the first destructive characteristic of mega tsunami when they hit the shore. They rear up to become a wall of water. The long wavelength also creates a second frightening characteristic. Instead of breaking on the shore, the whole length of the wave sweeps onto land engulfing everything before it. With storm waves, the wavelength is just a few tens of meters. But with mega tsunami, it's hundreds of kilometers. And what this means is that when storm waves break onto a coastline, they break almost immediately. But mega tsunami just keep on coming through the whole length of the wave. And this makes them incredibly powerful and incredibly destructive. Once scientists understood that landslides into water could produce mega tsunami, they began wondering where the next massive landslide would occur. They looked for where the biggest landslides had happened in the past, in the belief it could tell them where they might happen in the future. Geologists knew that one type of location was particularly vulnerable to landslides large volcanic islands. There are dozens of such islands scattered throughout the world's oceans and the reason they are prone to landslides is because of the way they are built. These islands began life millions of years ago when lava erupted onto the ocean floor. As this cooled and hardened, layer built upon layer until it formed a land platform of volcanic rubble above sea level. Scientists realized that every few thousand years, one of these piles of volcanic rubble had fallen into the sea. Volcanic islands grow by one lava flow after another over tremendous amounts of time. As they do this, they become oversteepened. Uh, at the same time, you have the ocean eroding away at the base. And eventually, all these things together end up weakening the edifice to the point where it collapses. This is Hawaii, the largest chain of volcanic islands on Earth. These scarred valleys are where vast sections of Hawaiian coastline fell into the sea hundreds of thousands of years ago. The mega tsunami they created would have been thousands of times more powerful than Lituya Bay. Underwater lies the debris of ancient Hawaiian collapses. Whole chunks of the islands have fallen onto the sea floor. The biggest section is the Tuscaloosa Seamount, a giant block which fell off the island of Oahu two million years ago. This single rock is almost ten times the volume of Mount Everest. 
when it hit the water, it would have created an unimaginable mega tsunami. It would have taken five hours to travel across the Pacific and strike the west coast of America. But this event was not unique. Well, what we've noticed when we start looking at the volcanic islands is that every archipelago has collapses. The evidence is insurmountable. Everywhere you go, you find evidence for debris avalanches, slumps. The Cape Verde Islands in the Atlantic also had a massive landslide. This was 80,000 years ago. The mega tsunami this created would have taken just one hour to strike the west coast of Africa. These volcanic island collapses seem to be rare, only happening every several thousand years. The most recent one is thought to have occurred in the Indian Ocean, when part of the island of Réunion collapsed just 4,000 years ago. Seven hours later, the wave it generated would have struck Australia. Although this is believed to be the last volcanic island to collapse, it seems inevitable that somewhere it will happen again. You can't build islands over thousands of years, flow after flow, without having collapse. It just is part of their nature, it's part of their history, and it's part of their future. The big question is where and when the next large volcanic island collapse will occur. Because these landslides all happened in the ancient past, no one has ever witnessed one. They are so rare, scientists cannot be sure what the precursors will be. But of all the large volcanic islands around the world, one in particular shows disturbing signs of instability. If this island collapses, it would create a mega tsunami that would race across the Atlantic and hit the east coast of the United States. Every city on the shoreline would be destroyed from New York in the north to Miami in the south. The wave would wreak havoc for as much as 20 kilometers inland. The origin of this wave would be thousands of miles away. This mega tsunami would come from a volcanic island off the coast of North Africa. From one of the Canary Islands. It would come from the island of La Palma. La Palma is one of the westernmost islands in the Canaries. 80,000 people live here, making their living from farming and tourism. There are also two volcanoes on the island, 